Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. We have new digs. I have my friend Norma with me today. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Black is Beautiful selection from Tanea Creek Brewery. This is an Imperial Stout with a 9% ABV. Typically American Imperial Stouts come in between 8% and 12%. So this is actually at the lower end of the uh, high end, uh, high alcohol end scale. Uh, this 32 inch crawler cost me $18. Now, Norma's a little concerned that she's going to, you know, she, she, she's not familiar with reviewing beers. As I have explained to her, they are going to be more than, y'all are going to be more than happy to see something besides my ugly face. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with having oh. <laughs> a pretty lady in a video. What's more, the whole point behind this channel was to demystify some of the elitism around craft beer. So I think the best way to do that is to bring in the uninitiated. I'm going to ask Norma's opinion and whether she knows IBU, she doesn't know ABV, she doesn't know IBU, she doesn't know any of that. All this is is to see whether she likes the beer or not. Have you had a Guinness, Guinness before or any other stouts? Yes. Okay, so you are familiar with stouts. This is an Imperial Stout. What I typically do when I get a beer is I give it a few swirls like so, just to get a little aeration, nucleation as it is. There you go. Give it a quick whiff. What do you pick up? Coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm picking up that too. It's like a coffee scent. Are you getting like just a little bit of like baker's chocolate? Not actual like milk chocolate, but- Root beer? Like, yeah, a little bit of anise root in there too. Right. Yes, okay, I'm picking up that I too. I mean, it is beer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm smelling the anise root now that you mentioned that. Definitely coffee is the is the primary uh, aroma, but I, I can get that licorice a little bit in there that, uh, yeah, that is that kind of root beery. Are you getting like a little um, bit of a marshmallow? Like a, a sweet? Like a sweet. On the end? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, okay, now that it's had a little chance to aerate, little bubbles have had some time. This is dark as pitch. You are not seeing through this glass. This is definitely a dark, dark Imperial Stouts. Imperial Stouts are, uh, I, well, I tell you what, this, this beer is so new that as of yet, Tanea Creek has not put it into untapped. So uh, I know we've got a 9% ABV. I don't know what we have in the way of IBUs, but uh, I don't see any reason to keep talking. Let's get to drinking. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah? I like that. You liking That's that? Smooth. Like, it is smooth. It's, being 9%. It's, it's strong, but it's smooth. Like you don't feel it on your throat like bubbly or like... like what flavor pearl. profile do you get? Coffee. Coffee. I'm Maybe. getting a little bit of cocoa nibs. I'm still getting a little bit of that baker's why. chocolate. Um, like not like Coffee. a Hershey's bar, but just like... Like either like cocoa before you mix it with powdered cocoa mm -hmm. or baker's chocolate that's sort of semi sweet. Yeah, yeah, like a chocolate, like a like a dark. Chocolate. But I, at the same time, I also get that uh, that like you were saying root beer. There's that sort of that anise smell on top of the, the marshmallow. We do but have some that, nice no, glazing. It's good. It's if we're, for being a nine it's percent. I'd say it pour, it, uh, it's very smooth. Do you want some more? <laughs> yeah. We got to kill this growl crawler anyway. Okay. For those of you who are unaware, growlers and crawlers they just don't last. So when you get one of these, you gotta pour it out. Now the other thing about this, as I said, I did pay eighteen dollars for these thirty-two ounces, which I all in all is not bad, considering this is such a good beer. Good. But um, the money, the proceeds of this beer go to the. Uh, Las Vegas NAACP. Sorry, I didn't mean to drill the water there. Oh, you're good. There. You're good. All right. Let's go. Round two. Almost. Trying to see if there's anything else. If anything, sometimes after getting it on your tongue, you can start to pick up other notes other, on the, on the uh, when you when you pull up the aroma. But I'm not getting anything new. There's that what what they call the alcohol burn. There's a slight alcohol burn. Not much though. Like you said, it is smooth. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's very smooth for being nine percent. Uh, this is coming out okay. really, really nicely. Not bad. I'm not catching anything new. It's it's the original coffee um, and some of that anise root, like you were talking about. I'm not catching anything new in the flare and the aroma. But it's definitely good. <clears throat> Would you drink this? Would you drink more of this? Mm -hmm. Right on. Well, I think we've got a winner, and um, at this point, uh, we'll probably have to have Nancy come and turn off the camera. 
But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was actually walking in here in person. <sighs> nice. I want to give. This is so good. I want to give special thanks to Norma for helping me out with this. As I, I told her as we were coming back from the creek. I said, uh, all I know about this is ABV. I don't have any more information about it. So having somebody else along definitely makes it more interesting. And now we've got the new digs for the blue color beer, gentlemen. This is uh, this is the first time we're here in this locale. So until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Right. Cheers. Cheers.